The first phase of the NADS program, which lasted six years, has come to an end with some regions in Uganda still faced with food insecurity and heavily relying on feeding programs by charity organizations. Yeah, we are looking at the, the, the NADS program and how they are being implemented, basically on food security. That's the quality and the quantity of food which is produced in this country. The NADS program was launched in March 2002 to work in pursuit of the government's poverty eradication agenda and ensure food security for all Ugandans. Because NADS is top on the agenda for helping us to fulfill the prosperity for all program. And as we talk now, next financial year, they have a budget of 60 billion. <laughs> At today's orientation by the Uganda Parliamentarian Forum on Food Security, Population and Development, NADS claimed that in their six years of existence, they had improved farmers' skills and knowledge through increased access to information, thereby increasing household income. For example, in Kabarore, there is a sub-county which had never known they could take maximum advantage of selling their bananas. Now, trucks and trucks of lollies are coming from a sub-county called Kisomoro in Kabarore district, uh, bringing uh, Matoke to Kampala. NADS is operating in 64 districts to spearhead a transformation from subsistence to market-oriented farming. But many farmers continue to struggle with poor farming and unprofitable methods. Yeah. Drought affected areas in Karamoja and internally displaced persons remain food insecure and the World Food Programme is still a major provider of food assistance to about 1.4 million IDPs, including about 500,000 drought affected people in Karamoja. Agnes Asimwe, NTV Tonight.